This is about to be a rolling shot. This is a Van Hul TX45. Ah, this person's an idiot over here. This person say here park on like the crosswalk, knowing that clearly you're not supposed to like park over there. Like that that is just that is just crazy, like that is just freaking crazy. It's crazy. We got this monster over here, Van Hul TX45. This driver's a beast. I was just on his bus too. Like look at him turn that thing like a beast right there. That's a TX's. That sounds like a Cummins. I could be wrong or Detroit Diesel. Either way, it's a it's a nice looking bus stop. Tell me, these Van Hools are sick. And I think they seat like what, 54, 56 people, something like that. Either way, it's a nice looking bus. This guy, Prevo HB45. This came from New York to help out with the shuttle too. Look at this. Oh, listen to that thing sing right there. That thing singing. Uh, like a Volvo engine in it. Got BTM coaches, Van Hool, CX45. You basically say that the CX45 is an evolution of the C2045. I think they started making the CX45 in like, what, 2013 or something like that? Either way, I like what they do with like the headlights and stuff. They got newer CX45s as well, but with a different design. It's hard to explain. If only I saw one of them, I would have definitely would have shown. And like for sure, like to compare like on chess, got fog lights. I don't know what company's behind. I know the third coach behind there is a Fullington Trailways bus. Um, they got a whole bunch of buses in a. I think they got school bus services too. I could be wrong. But either way, I have to double check on that. Fullington Trailways, they came from Pennsylvania to come help out with the with the Orange Line shuttle. You got companies from everywhere. Like a week and a half ago, was it two weeks ago, I met a bus driver from Florida. He actually drove tractor trailers, he says. And then he changed his mind and he decided to drive motor coaches. He says, while both pay well, he said he liked motor coaches more because like he get to like, see a whole bunch of other states and stuff and then he gets to like chill and then the whole the company he worked for i wish i remembered off the top of my head he said they're paying for like his whole hotel stay it's a beast of a bus too like that's a beast of a job bro like that motor coach drivers don't get enough credit man if this bus doesn't move see Oh man, I'm trying so hard not to go off on a rant. I don't even need to say how much I cannot stand these buses. Like, bruh. Dude, even the drivers that I've spoken to, they said when it comes to the winter, they would rather drive like one of the low floor diesels, not a blame. They said these things slip and slide. The seats feel like you're behind is on like a cardboard like box. Like, the drivers I speak to, they have wonderful drivers, but, I mean, I like the way the headlights look on these new flyers, though, the headlights look nice, and then the mirrors look nice, too, but other than that, can I give a positive review about these things, heck to the no, man, oh my goodness, was this a 31 on the matter, man, man, I came here for the coaches, Get out my way. Uh, rolling out. They rolling out. Rolling out. No travel came to help out with the shuttle. That's a Van Hul CX45 right there. And every time one bus moves, the other one, they line them up. They each keep going forward. And check this out. Man, Fullington back again. Man, 
they really got everyone out of there. And Van Hoel, they got some, what is it, one, two, three, four different like luggage bays or something? Uh, this is how you turn the monster like that. Look at that. I noticed he cut to the right, like once he got into the middle, once like the bus got on like the crossing line, then he cut to the left and then ended up going all the way. Look at this, that's a J4500 right there. That is a nice looking bus right there. Look at that. I don't know what company that is. And you could tell it's a newer J4500 because the LED lighting that they did on that. Some nice looking fog lights. K&G Coach Line. Huh, never heard of this company. I'm about to do some research on them. That's probably got the what? Detroit Diesel, engine TD13, Fullington Trail 1184. This one I uploaded on like Instagram the other day actually. And the company liked it. That was awesome. I am pumped. They freaking loved it. The Fullington Trailways 1184. Wow. Post road stages. The D4505. See, if you guys just paid attention, like the way the headlights look on that one versus this one, major difference between the two. You could see like on the D4505 here, like if you go back and rewind, you'll notice that the head the turn signal clusters look a lot bigger. They got Gunther Van Hul T TX45. Look at that. Bus is amazing. That bus is freaking amazing, bro. And Van Hul's that bus is like us. Buses are so darn tall, dude. Look, look at how high that thing is. Sheesh. From Maryland. Nice. Nice. I can dig it.